Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good day. I said I'd do more videos in my little cake shop this year, so here we are. I have decided to start a new series for you all, which I'm gonna call Cake Chemistry. Now, I've already done quite a few videos which would fit in under this topic, so make sure you go and check them out. What I'll probably do is I'll create a playlist to make it easier for you to find them all. And of course, if you have any questions or topics that you want me to talk about, please do pop them in the comments below or you can come and say hello to me over on Instagram. And one more thing, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so that you don't miss any of the latest updates from me. Why baking is a science. Now, according to the Collins Dictionary, science can be defined as knowledge from the careful study of the structure and behavior of the physical world, especially by watching, measuring, and doing experiments, and the development of theories to describe the results of these activities. That's a bit long-winded. The process of baking also involves studying the structure and behavior of the physical in the form of ingredients. By watching, measuring, and doing experiments with these ingredients, and then developing theories, aka methods and recipes. This is how every baked good originates. Although similar to cooking, baking requires a much higher degree of accuracy when measuring, and it is the careful balance of these ingredients which produce a high quality baked good. Many cakes and also other baked items contain very similar ingredients, for example, flour, sugar, fat, eggs, and water. But yet the finished goods can vary immensely in size, shape, texture, and taste, simply due to the assembly method and proportion of these ingredients. For example, if we added too many eggs to a biscuit recipe, it would probably end up being more like a cake. And conversely, if we didn't add any eggs to a cake recipe, it would probably end up like a biscuit. This is why it's so important to carefully measure ingredients properly. A chef preparing a pasta dish, for example, can make adjustments along the way if something isn't quite right, like adding more salt. However, a baker preparing a cake cannot add more sugar to his recipe once the cake is in the oven. Baking requires patience, skill, accuracy, and of course, creativity. Bakers are essentially chemists in the kitchen. In this new series, I'm going to be talking all things baking science, going over various ingredients and how they function, different methods and the results they produce, and of course, answering all of your baking FAQs. I'm also going to be doing more vegan and gluten-free baking so that I can share my results with you and find out what it is that makes the perfect cake. Thank you to everybody who has stuck with me so far on this baking, cake, chemistry, creative journey. I have been unsure as to what content to create, being a multi-passionate individual, however I do feel that it's all slowly coming together. Please do share your thoughts, questions and ideas with me and join the community. I would love to hear from you. See you next time. Bye.